This is a series where we are building a high fidelity prototype in React.js and in this episode we are going to talk about the application that we are actually going to be building and we are going to sketch out the actual components. And you're watching Dev Tips, du, 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 and we're a guest host for Travis, and this is MPJ, and I'm David. What kind of app are we building? Say you're at work, and there is something about your product that uh, disturbs you, and you want to just try something new out that would normally require you to go to stakeholder and fight for a developer to help you to do this. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're going to learn the basic skills of, of creating a, a React app, not a production ready one, but a clickable one that works. So something that's always bugged me with the Spotify desktop app is you get a lot of playlists. Yeah. It's difficult to find the playlist and you don't get an overview of the playlist. All right, so this is, uh, this is Spotify, uh, the client that I used to work on. I work mostly on the desktop client. Here's the playlists. Uh, the playlists are top level here. They're different from from albums, which are um, which are in these these sections. Artists are the same way. This is th this thing with the playlists. That's nice because I can click them and I have really quick access to them. But there's also a benefit to having these kinds of dedicated views for them. These aggregate this aggregation views or whatever you you would like to call them. Uh, because then you can add uh, things like sorting here, like title. You can sort my uh, albums here by title. Uh, this is uh, this is Swedish, but I, I can. Uh, here's another filtering option that that we you can add, and you can also search just my uh, my albums by sort of remember uh, remember something here. Uh, I remember getting a lot of feature requests from my friends on on playlists and uh, such as sorting the playlist and filtering the playlist but there is really no place to do that. Also if there was a playlist overview you there would be a place where we could add interesting data about your playlist like your most recently played playlists or perhaps uh, your uh, the total amount of playlists you have or the, the total number of hours your playlist had like stuff there's benefits to having an overview and not just these these lists. So that is what I would like to try out and see what we can do with. Let's sketch this out. We, we need some kind of title. Just yeah. Let's begin with that. That's always good. Title. All right. To know well, where you're at. What what is that gonna say? It's gonna be like David's playlist or sure. something or MPJ's playlist or whatever. Then we talked about we wanted some kind of uh, we want to do some kind of aggregation data. Mm. It's not too important exactly what because we can, we can probably iterate on this as we go. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice part about uh, being uh, able to be a, a develop a, a designer that codes is that you can kind of you don't have to do too much upfront design bef before you give it to the, the, the developer because the developer is you and you can just uh, make things up as you go. So some kind of aggregate numbers like uh in the view currently, how many playlists are there? Oh yeah, that's excellent. Like 54 playlists. That's great. And perhaps, how many hours of music is it in those playlists sure. in total? Like 240 hours. Exactly. This is one of the things like, it might be difficult to calculate that. It might not even be possible with the API, not sure. But that's cool because this is to a large degree, an exploration of what we are able to do easily as well. Because if you are able to discover things and limitations of the system while you are developing, uh, so not only will this give you a feel of what works for your user, it also gives you a sense of how hard this, uh, this is to do. Uh, so this is an extra benefit to doing this kind of hacking high fidelity prototypes as well. Then we would like a filter. Yeah. Uh, that's a looking glass yep. and like the filter box. Yep. Something like that. Filter. Excellent. Should we have sort? No, I think that we're fine with filter. Yeah. Uh, maybe add sort later, but yeah. it's important to, it's very important to keep uh, your scope limited. Uh, otherwise, you get confused. Yeah, and then we'll have like the playlist, the each individual playlist item component. So we have a playlist, playlist one, and then there's another playlist, 
and then there's another playlist, Excellent. and then there's another playlist, etc. Do we want some kind of metadata here in uh, perhaps length or something? I think it would be awesome if we could to have like the just the th top three songs or the oh, first songs to know like so even though I made I call this like fall of 2009 yeah. it would be cool to see what was I listening on that all right but add something like that yeah so we will have like uh, Queen here and uh, Michael Jackson Oh yeah, the artists that are in there, that would be nice. Yeah, artists or songs. I don't know what's best. Yeah, Some, some, something. something. It's gonna be something there. We'll decide later as we go along. I want to talk about components here, because yeah. an important part of React, a thing that React offers you, is uh, a component system. How, uh, how would one describe the, the concept of a component? Hmm, something... Like if you think of CSS, something you would add a class to, yeah. something that is reusable, it works, you can put it in many different places, but you specify excellent. it in one place, basically. Yeah, that's an excellent description. So let's draw out what things we envision to be separate components here. Yeah. So I think the, the actual title, that is just a component that would be used only once, but we call that component A here. Sure. And then these aggregates, they work, they work the same, it's a number, yep. and then some texts. Components B. Yeah. This That's filter, possible. that is its own component. Yep. We, we will only use it once, because it's not logical to have it in any other way. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's also inter nice to have it contained in one component, so that yeah. we can work on it separately. And then, I guess... Each playlist? Is that a yeah. component? Yeah, each... Each playlist... ...is a component. Yeah. Would it... we put these as components as well? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's probably something that we will play around a little bit with. Uh, we could just start right? with these, like, major components. The, the major playlist component, and then we could, like, if we have the time, add sub-components. Precisely. Uh, because uh, it might be interesting, for instance, let's say that this was a piece of a larger system, then these things would definitely be, uh, be a separate components because you would want to use the playlist items uh, without this, this top list thing. Yeah. But for the purposes of our high fidelity prototype, we don't need to think too much about architecture. Uh, in uh, in a real applic production application, you would spend a lot of time thinking about hmm, how do we architect this the right way. But this, what we're building, is basically a a hack, and we shouldn't concern ourselves with not with too much. But it's still sort of nice to think in components because then when you as a designer hand it over to the developers, if you have already done the like big thinking of what is each component, then it's much easier for them to implement it. Sure. Uh, and it's also, even if you have uh, done the wrong components and stuff, it's still, you are still speaking in their language because they will know React uh, and they will be able to, if you have used some kind of padding somewhere or some HTML tagging or something, they will be able to reuse a lot of their work, in, uh, your work, instead of re-implementing every single detail uh, on their own. So, I guess we should start coding, right? I think so. But before we start coding, we have to install a bunch of things. So we, next video is about installing Node.js. Right? Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about what Node, uh, a little bit about what Node.js is, just a little, and the also install a package manager. Uh, you can click this episode here to uh, get started. It sounds scary, but we'll walk you through it.